Crystal. So this is a second video for a request by May 13 The other night she had emailed me letting me know that this would be her very first Thanksgiving with her boyfriend's family. She was really excited about it, but she also wanted to make a really nice impression on them. I've already done the makeup portion of it, you can find that in the sidebar. But right now I'm going to be doing the second part of her request, which was a hair tutorial that's simple and that would go with the nice makeup that we did for the, the day. So first are some products that I'm just showing you that you may need or may want to have by. I'm going to be using a curling iron. If you choose to do anything such as blow drying, flat iron, and curling iron, you're going to want a heat protecting spray. Now this is my favorite, my personal favorite. It's by Chi, and it's the 44 Iron Guard. It lasts a really long time. I also have another cheaper alternative that's a really, really good one, and it's by Dove. Next is hairspray. Especially with the look I'm going to be showing you, you really are going to need hairspray for the curls we're going to do. I have two choices, and these are just my two favorites. Both can be found at drugstore. I do know that these are pricey. However, my hair is really very delicate. Um, many of you know that I have lots of breakage in my hair, and I've been growing it out for about two years now, and I really need to use specific products. The first one is by Chi. I like to have a lot of Chi products. I think they're wonderful. And this one is the Helmet Head. I actually found this at JCPenney, and there were two of them at the JCPenney Salon, and you can get two of them for $13. So I think that's a wonderful deal. It's the Breast Cancer Awareness Month Special Edition. I just want to show you that can. How gorgeous is that? I want a lipstick like that. Anyway, and this is a very extra firm hairspray, so if you're somewhere where it's windy or you really need that extra hold because you'll be running around back and forth, this would be a great option. The second option is a little pricier, maybe the same range. I think they're both about $16 to $18 single at like Walgreens. This was a great deal at JCPenney. The next is Sebastian. I love this hairspray. This is my number one favorite hairspray and it's the Reshaper. And I like it so much because let's say halfway through the day you decide, I really don't want this look anymore, or you get home and you don't really want to wash your hair but you want to brush it all out, you can literally brush out your look that you had with this and this holds all day. So it's a very, very strong hairspray but you can brush it out. So any type of hairspray is really going to do for this look. Just make sure you have hairspray. Those are just my two favorites. And last but not least, this is completely optional, but I think that it adds a nice touch, is some shine spray. I think once you're all done with your look, just to add a little bit of shine is a really nice idea. The first one is by Chi, and this is a shine infusion spray. This does not offer any type of hold. It's just a spray with some shine accents to it and some silk infused. I really enjoy this one. Again, this can be found at Walgreens or any major salon will carry that. And the second one is a Redken one. And, you know, I saw this at, gosh, I think the JCPenney salon. Like, I don't know if I've seen this exact one at Walgreens, but this is a nice idea. I got this one in my birch box, and I like it so far, but I do notice it has a little hold to it. So if you don't want that extra hold, I would go with a non-holding shine spray. So first what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my heat protector spray, and I'm literally spraying that on the top layer of my hair, then I'm lifting my hair up, spraying it a little bit underneath, and certainly on the tips. You don't want to douse and drench your hair, you just want it lightly covered. Now I'm going to brush all of that through to make sure that it's spread evenly. So I have my curling iron, and I like to use the really small barreled ones just because I can always fix that and make them a little bit bigger if I want to. What I'm going to do I'm going to separate my hair just like you're putting it in a half ponytail. And I'm just going to clip that up for a moment so that we just have the longest layer out. Make sure that that's brushed out completely. You're going to want a rat tail comb or rat tooth, I don't know what this is called. You're going to want one of these combs and just kind of brush it out, that, that little section. Lightly spray it with hairspray. Run that comb through again while it's still a little wet. Take your curling iron. And we're just going to curl up. Putting that hairspray in right before we curl it is really going to help that curl stay in place and really going to give it some extra bounce. So when you begin to uncurl, Try to stay in place while you uncurl it, and then unlock and pull out. 
And I don't know if you can see that, but there's our curl. Okay, so you're just going to do that all around your head. Your pieces can definitely get bigger. You can alternate between smaller and larger pieces. And you don't need to curl all the way up on your bottom pieces. Curl however you'd like it to be curled. Don't brush your curls out. Just leave them be until we're done. I like to have a mixture of curls and then long hair too. I think that's really what we're going for in this look. Now let that other portion down, the top layer. And again, don't brush anything out, leave it be for now. We're going to do the same thing on the top layer, part it however you'd like, get it ready however you'd like, and start curling. So I'm gonna grab a top piece like this, spray it with that hairspray, comb it down, and I'm just using that Sebastian. And I'm leaving it in there for maybe three to five seconds, a little longer. I feel it. Be very careful, but you can touch the hair and just see if it's warm. If it is pretty warm to the touch, you can begin uncurling and let go. And you have a beautiful, bouncy ringlet. And this will look much better when everything is out and we're all making sure that our hair looks how we need it to. So whenever you're done curling your hair, or if you take your curls out at night or whatever, it looks kind of scary and it's like, oh dear God, I can't go anywhere looking like this. But don't worry, we're going to fix it. So you really just want to do it with your fingers. And the way I do it, I start from the roots and I just kind of shake down. We're just slightly loosening those curls up, but we want them to keep the curl shape. And I know my hair is dark and it's a little difficult to see. So make sure you have some bobby pins now. So part your hair where you want it to be parted. Taking some long aspects of my bangs, parting them in two. So it's like a braid but with only two pieces. And you're just wrapping one around the other. And then pinning that back as well. I'm going to spray any pieces that are out really lightly. So I'll just go ahead and use a cheese shine infusion and you're good to go. I wanted to keep this look fairly simple because I know she may not have a ton of time to get ready that morning. So it's just basic curl and then pin it back. Kind of like a very bohemian look. Again, there is another way to do this look having a little poof on top and I do have a video of that. I'm, I'll try to find it and link it in the down bar. So again, I hope that you have a wonderful time and if you decide to do this hairstyle, pretty please leave it in a uh, video response below. I know my subscribers are absolutely incredible, so I'm not the best with hair, but here's what I'm gonna ask. I know so many of you out there are amazing when it comes to hair. So if any of you have a wonderful hair tutorial that you think would be easy enough just to do and you know get it done that morning, could you pretty, pretty, pretty please, for me and for Casey, can you put it in a video response below? I think it might help her to have several different looks before the big day. This way she's not stuck with just mine in case it doesn't work out or in case she doesn't like it. So this way she'll have a lot to choose from. Thank you guys so much, and if any of you have any requests that you'd like to see, pretty please send them in my inbox. You guys are great at that, or you can just comment below. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. Bye.